Hello there, I am Man in Yellow and welcome to another challenge video. As you may have seen in the title for this one I will be using only the starter phobies and the stress level phobies that you get up to level 40, which are 5 pretty decent ones and everyone gets them fairly quickly, right? Like, raise them out is the first one that you get and then you very quickly get the uh, ginseng and it takes a bit more to get the rest, but those first couple ones are very very fast. And even like Ms. Mofad and Snowball are also fairly fast. So I think they are fair to include in this. Obviously the point of doing like a video like this is to kind of show how you would kind of play with those phobies, I guess, even at a high level. At least try to mimic that. It's probably a bit different because at lower range you're not going to be facing the stuff that I'm going to be facing most of the time here. But yeah, I will obviously only be using the phobies from one of the starter packs here, which means I've chosen the pack which I recommend people to get, which is the pack that has Illigator, Hevo, Primate 9, I believe Steppy, and K9000 and Contortio. I can't remember if there's any other. I think these three you always get, and Erratic you always get. So those aren't. And then the rest of these are obviously. Stress level phobies, Razor Mouth, Clinical, Ginsting, Miss Morphat, and yeah, Snowball also. Anyway, let's begin. As per usual with these challenge videos, I will just play three games and then I will keep going if I win them all. I don't think I'm likely to win all of these because this is only really playable on a small map if we're being honest. It's much harder to do on large maps because you kind of need some of the larger phobies to actually play on large maps and there is only alligator erratic and hevo here so that's not a whole lot of large phobies to have for a large map here but as long as we get a small map there is actually pretty decent options to go for here so that's obviously what i'm going to be hoping for you can obviously also play like a pretty decent game with just the normal phobies that you get like you can use Gravedigger's ability and splash with the Radic and Jin's thing is good, K9000 is a fine stat stick unit, stuff like that. But they're not that great on large maps because, you know, like I mentioned, you need more large phobies. Even the lower rarity runs are better than stuff like Alligator and Erratic. You would much rather have stuff like Pterodactyl, Klepto, things like that. Most of the time at least. There are some maps where it's fine to have alligator. Also might actually win some games just off having these units fairly high level since I've had them from the start. And this is looking like the curious ranking out so I'm likely to get someone who's less well leveled here. Could also just get someone who's at the same level of course or even much higher level. And yeah, these are definitely under leveled. Is that Doomsday? At least I hope they're under leveled if they're Doomsday. That would be weird if they weren't. Yeah, they're under leveled. But that's fine. We are limiting our choices by a lot, so they still have a chance here for sure. I am probably bringing Gravedigger here, just to answer that. I don't think I want to respond with my own Snowball. I think that's a bad idea. And then we will summon. Let's actually not summon anything here. Because I can't go onto this anyway, and this is enough pressure to move this away. There's not much point in summoning a one key. The instant jar cannon. Here's a tip for if you're playing this map, don't do this. Jar cannon this early is a very bad idea, especially if you're higher ranked because you're going to get bossed. But going jar cannon this early doesn't really achieve much. And it's fairly easy to threaten. Like you can see here, since I actually have Snowball as one of the ones I can use, I can just put it here. And now he has to move this away or put something to block for it. It's very, very easy to threaten an early Jar Cannon and it doesn't provide any pressure or anything really. Like it only makes it hard for me to go onto the middle of the map. That's just not a problem really that I care about at least. Should probably have placed these like in the opposite order so I'm also threatening the snowball but whatever who cares I 
what do I want to do now? They saved five keys, so I'm thinking of going Jinsting here, maybe. We're obviously moving this out of the way and going back here with this. Jinsting could make sense. What else is decent here? Just a one key over here is actually also okay. It only saves us enough key for, keys for Erratic though, so I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's just Jinsting. Jinsting is just a good unit. So this is kind of all right to do. We may want to actually go a alligator or hevo here as a large unit. It could also be erratic depending on what they're doing. You could probably have put the cowbell here. But it's also fine not to if it doesn't want to. But that could have made sense at least. Now what do I want in this spot? Either I bank here or I just go stabby. Could also go double one key just to have pressure. I think stabby is fine. I'm probably always going stabby when I'm doing this anyway, because it's my only turret here, and turrets are very good for small maps. Poison Ivy. That's a good phobie. So obviously a good phobie. It's one of my favorite phobies to be honest. We're just going to place the stabby in the middle here, like you often see players do. I think that's pretty good. Our one keys definitely survived this right. Yeah. I have to at least my razor mouth does. I actually don't know if the other one does. Control show does. Oh no, it definitely does. Survive it. Maybe the Jin's thing should have been here, actually. It's probably a better way to do this. I think that's a better place to have it at the end of the turn here. And then I think I will be bringing the control show out. They have the advantage here if the game just stalls out since they have a poison navy sitting there. Let's actually go a bit aggressive with the positioning of these. And then let's place this here and this here. Then we can kill if you put something there. It's also more likely to have put the trap there. So this means he has to use an extra hit on it. We obviously don't want to place it in the middle since we're going to get aoe if we do that. He also does not want to put his jar cannon there, that's for sure. I'm gonna find a way to kill it if he does that. Yeah, that jar cannon is very dead. I could break the block, but I'm actually just going to kill the snowball instead. How much health is this? This is not enough, right? I'm not that over leveled. Nope, not quite. I'll just hit this then. I actually don't think I used AoE. I think it's better to not use AoE here. I can't really go aggressive with the stabby here unless I'm willing to place it in the lava. Which I don't think I am. Would it die from that? Yeah, it would die from going into the lava. I'm just gonna place it here then. And bring 
the gator out. He will AoE this, I'm guessing. Or maybe he will hit it with the unit so he can AoE the snowball. Or something. And could probably kill both of these now. If he hits this with anything, really. But then he needs, like, a 3 range, right? So that's not that good for him. I think that play was probably all right with the murder wing there. Because otherwise he's not going to be able to kill this. Sheeping gas. Hmm. Probably have to do something like this. Then we run these away. Get a bit of AoE there. Have to place this all the way back there, I guess. And then we bring the Razor Mouth, I think. We want to make sure we have three keys left here so we can bring Clinical if we need to. Might have been better to not even summon the Razor Mouth here. But I want to take a point with it. Maybe remove the trap here with it. It's not worth it for him. This doesn't die fast enough, right? Yeah, it doesn't. I can just walk this to the healing spot if I want to. Bad Omen. Should probably have used this earlier. This is the best unit they have summoned so far, I think. Very, very good. On small maps. Kind of wish I had this unit, to be honest. Is it gonna end up? Uh, it will live even if he goes in on it. Maybe I should move my alligator out of the fire here if I can. Yeah, I totally can. Let's just heal this snowball up also. seems fine I think there's obviously a trap there but the razor mouth lives since it's over leveled it actually dies exactly if we're even leveled but that doesn't happen that often that a razor mouth and a poison ivy are even leveled because razor mouths level very easily since it's the first unit that you get from asterisk levels they tend to be high level I think my Boom can actually be higher level than this. It already is high level. I think this can go to level 17. For some reason I just got a lot of boom cards. I'd kill this if he places it there. I still think I'd kill it to be honest. Even if it's there. Maybe not because this might die if I do that. Like if I go here and there's a trap. Actually, even if there's not a trap, this might die. So we probably shouldn't be doing that. I think I'm just bringing the clinical out here. To... Kind of put a tip on the... Alligator, so it can't die. Don't think there are any better options here, right? I mean, I could Jar Cannon. Or Murder Wing, actually. But it's going to take so long to heal this up. And the clinical is good in it anyway. There's not really any reason to not go for it. And do this and this kill my snowball. Maybe it can. Be. This isn't quite as good to place it there, though. I think I'm just doing like this. Maybe even this. No. 
I don't really want to get debuffed, but I also don't want my stuff to be killable and I also want to threaten him. So it's kind of hard to place here with the units. We'll get easier once this is back, but it will be a turn or two. That's dead if he does that. Killing the Jinsteng is like the number one target here. Because it's his only like ranged unit that doesn't die in a single hit. At this point this game is over because he's not going to be able to kill the alligator ever here. We're just going to slowly kill him over a couple turns. Even if he debuffs me here it doesn't matter because he doesn't have the damage to follow it up with. There's not any point in moving the stabby up by now. This is a really strong unit. Like if they weren't in like if they weren't already on the level then in a very bad position. Imagine how strong this would be. Like suddenly this is 200 damage. That's pretty wild. They're thinking about just killing this, I guess. But it doesn't really matter. The moment they lost their jar cannon and I believe it was snowball that I killed here. In one turn they kind of lost the game's game like instantly. That was just six keys gone. I guess you could have made an argument that I should have moved the stabby here so it could kill this. But I can still kill it with a clinical, so it doesn't really matter. GG. Still need to hit with one of these. Poison Navy is such a good unit. It has so much health and attack power for a unit that has arguably the best traps in the game. Maybe not the best, but they are certainly up there. They are very good. Very, very strong traps. Obviously, not strong enough to beat that high levels though. That puts us at one and zero. Another small map here, so again we kind of have a chance. That's very nice. Do I want to stab you a grave digger first? I think I might want to grave digger first. Maybe a grave digger and take this point actually. I think I like that the best here. I normally go bow mangles down here, but I don't like it as much when I have to go stabby. I don't think. This also means that I could block them here if they don't do anything. And then take the middle point with Snowball or something like that. You're getting blocked in if you do that, for sure. Unless they place like a one key here, of course. But they're likely just sending a one key here if they're even putting one out. Oh, or maybe they play around it. That's also fine, to be honest. They can't even reach this with the bow angles this turn, so we don't care about that. Now we obviously can't snowball to the middle, but I don't know if that was even a good play in the first place. So that doesn't matter much. It's actually Miss Mofa too, so I kind of have a chance in large maps to a certain degree, but it's not much of a chance. Like it's not looking good if I go on a large map here. 
Might want the one key into four key into four key or into five key here. Could also just straight up go erratic against this bomb angles. I think it's best to bring a one key in this case. Except a one key here, maybe. That also means he can't move the bow if I do that. So it makes a lot of sense. Okay, now it makes less sense because he could. No, he actually can't kill the one key here because he placed this murdering here rather than here or any of the other spots that could have been in. We're just going to do this. That should be enough, right? Uh, yes, it's enough. Could also have gone control show, but it's the same thing, essentially. Because like, if they go here with the bow to hit this, they can't kill it, kill it with the murder wing, and I would be able to kill it. And same if he went here. So this just means the only places he can go are here. Which is pretty good. We are keeping him off the point. Now we can follow it up with something stronger if we want to. Could probably even fight him if I really wanted to here. Although then these should maybe have been swapped. I guess. So it's not that good of an idea to fight him here. What are we doing? Here at the end of the game. Is it just a erratic angle? I do already have Grave Digger. So it could just be an erratic angle. It could also just be a sort of Jinsting angle here. And play more aggressive. Mm. I think it's actually a Jinsting angle. Do something like this. And then another one key even. Where was it? The control show. Maybe the control show should have been somewhere else. I could have also just walked up and hit this. I don't think he would be able to kill my stabby, would he? Maybe he would. And uh, maybe it's close for sure. Is he just sacrificing that? Why would he do that? I thought he would go down and hit this and then go in with this to kill this. That wouldn't even be good, but why are you just throwing this away? I don't understand. At all. It's not even like sensible to do that. He's just weakening this slightly, but like why? Whatever. Shouldn't question him if he wants to do a weird play. That's their choice, I guess. Let's send this down here. This here. Can they kill this? Yes, they can. I shouldn't place it there. You place down here. I do not want to get snowballed and just lose. I guess I'm just destroying this block then. Should be okay. Or do I want to sacrifice this? I think I might want to sacrifice this. Then I can go erratic. I'm pretty vulnerable to Noxious here though, so I hope he doesn't go for that. If they go for that, I'm pretty screwed. Like after my erratic especially. <laughs> because I don't have enough healers for them. Or 
I would need healers for both of these, and this would also get hit by it, maybe. Would be kind of hard to deal with. Might also be better to go for something faster here. If I can, like... Maybe it's a murdering or snowball into a radic. Just to threaten these units. Since they're not doing a whole lot. There's a sheep. Okay, then erratic looks a lot less good now. We can, however, just go for snowball or... I think I want murdering more than snowball, to be honest. Even Hevo is good, though. I think I'm just going Hevo, actually. Let's do this. Could I place this here? Could kill it if you do that. What if I do this? Can you kill that? Maybe. Probably safer to place this up here, actually. Like, maybe I want to do something like this, and then the Hevo. Just have to make sure that I don't end up losing this unit up here to a random snowball. That's the whole thing. This Jin's thing is far back here though, so I think we can place this here. Without trouble. He might have been able to kill the Stabby if I placed it here with a snowball, which would be very bad because the undeath effect would not even happen due to the fire. But this is very good. Now I'm threatening a kill on this while advancing. That's not the unit they want here, that's for sure. Now we could move forward if we want to. Could I even just walk up and hit this? I think I'm just doing that maybe. Like this, they don't have enough damage for that, right? 6, 12... This can't hit. And then... 24? Yeah, that's not enough at all. Place this here, maybe? Or is that a bad idea? No, that's the same thing. It's actually better if they go for this. The only bad thing about placing that there is that it gives the Jin's thing a target, which I'm not sure I like. Let's just do this, maybe. It's essentially the same thing. Not much of a reason to place this here, is there? These should maybe be swapped. Better to have the grave digger up there since we can place a block in a relevant place up here if they go back or something. I don't think they can kill this. Pretty sure I calculated that correctly. And if they go in, I get to hit with all of my stuff in return. At least if they go in with the sheep. Which they do, it seems. Still alive. Oh, he's placing that in front here. That's questionable. In my opinion. But it's also fine, I guess. Could have been worse. How do I want to hit these? Like this. Just want to make sure that the sheep is dead more than anything, I think. Could actually keep this safe, right? By placing it here. 
Also means this needs to move and attack again. Looks like a pretty positive trade for us so far. We could maybe kill some stuff here though. I mean, they're obviously going to kill these two. But then that's still a pretty good trade. And it's five keys to nine. And that's without counting in that I could go aggressive again. I also have to either summon something to do more damage or move this into range. And if this moves into range, it's just dead. So that's also good for me. Guess I heal this, probably. Oh, I wish I had Droney here, but I obviously can't Droney. Can he kill this if I stay here? If I don't kill this, he certainly can. Could also just kill this. Thing. This is a bit weird with the daisy up here. I think I actually just hit this twice and then move back. No, that's not safe there. Need to move it all fairly far back here. Clinico this, and then we want a primate, I think, up here. It's the best way of spending the remaining four keys, because if we went for a two key, we would have to go for these two. If we went for a three key, we would not be able to bring a one key with it. So it's just always primate there. The primate is actually pretty good, because I use it for a couple maps, so I have it upgraded. I use it for Pluto and I can't remember the name of the other one. Phobos, I think it's called. Because it's actually good on those. This is also looking pretty over now. Their invade or dive or whatever you wanted to call it there was not very good. Their ginseng was also just far too far back for the entire game, so it was unable to really do much for them here. Oh, now we can do one of the fun plays with Primate. We can kill this and jump to kill the bones. And, and it's gone. It's very nice. Do I hit this? No, I don't. I hit this and then I can kill this too. And we also hit it with the clinical because so why not? I am a bit over level compared to these players, but I'm also handicapping myself pretty hard here. So they certainly have a chance at winning against this stuff.
I'm a bit sad I haven't gotten to use Erratic yet. I wanted to use it there for that match, but then they brought Sheeping Gas, and I'm not going to go Erratic into Sheeping Gas. That wouldn't make any sense. They really shouldn't have brought Sheeping Gas either, because Sheeping Gas is not a good unit. It is only to counter slow on deaths, and is not even that good for that. That is its only purpose. I guess it can also be used as a AoE from the vault if they get very close to a vault, but that's very niche. Again, we're getting another long queue, but it's fine. I mean, when I'm handicapping myself this much, there's no reason to reset the queue over and over again to get someone who's equally leveled. Because I have a, I effectively speaking, have a collection of like 15 units here, or however many it is. get a small map again that's very lucky so far i mean i guess you are i think you're more likely to get a small map but it's still pretty lucky here so we obviously can't do the normal thing with spot here so i think i'm just going for turret instead then we can see what they're doing this is actually another map that i could do the erratic thing on depending on what they bring of course that's not threatening at all. I don't care if he poisons it. That's actually a pretty good Henrietta. What is mine? It's the same. So they are equal level here. I think I bank here for something a bit larger. Maybe Hevo and put it up here just to be very annoying. This is a fine setup against the one key, at least when it's a one key like this, because we can kill it no matter where it goes here. If it goes up here, we snowball it, obviously, and the other ones we can just hit it to kill it. Creep. They really like their poison units. It doesn't matter when there's a healing spell though. Like, what are they doing in here? If they want to poison this, they can. I really don't care. They should probably move their unicorn onto this. Or this, that's also fine. It's the same thing. Actually, it will die if they move it there, so they really shouldn't. <laughs> now that I look at it. Because I can just move these two down and then hit it. And then Jack can in it. If they move the creep or the unicorn there. Don't think I can realistically kill this, because I would have to go down with this and with this. And then I would have to fight whatever they're summoning here. Which is not a good idea. That would end up as a bad trade, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to let them have this. And then we can do this instead. Start applying pressure to the heart. Maybe a Grave Digger? Up here? 
think a grave digger up there makes sense. Then I should move the cat over here though. He could creep my grave digger though, so maybe it's even a block further back. Now I can go here and put a block here. It's fine. Even if he creeps my grave digger, it's not that big a deal. I just don't want him to do it on this exact turn. It's also worth noting that I could even block here. If I want to just be annoying and hard rush him. Why is he... Yeah, I don't think that's the one you want to be hitting. If you're hitting anything, you're hitting the stabby here with this. But even that doesn't make that much sense. Is he really moving this here? I will hit it twice. Without a doubt. If he does that. Here would make more sense. No, it wouldn't. Then it would die, but... If it wouldn't die, it would make more sense. Because then he would at least be able to hit me. Oh, he's bringing a Grave Digger with it. That makes a bit of sense. Then I'm just blocking here, though. Actually, am I? Yeah, I think I am. Because then I'm out of range when if he destroys the block. Which is what they would want to do, I think. Here, I really wish I had Boom. Oh, yeah, I could use Boom. Then I would kill this and then place a boom over here behind. But I'm not using that right now. Could go in on this. But do I really want to? I don't think I do. I think it's best to just place a jar cannon out here. Stop being annoying with this too. It's fine if you hit this because I can just kill this. Who cares? I can even kill this stuff if I really want to. I mean, now I'm just killing both of these, I think. I double hit this, hit this once, hit, move this in here, hit this, hit this, go down, kill this. That's my turn, I guess. It's not bad, to be honest. Takes all of the poison off the board, moves the stabby up. The hero is pretty injured, but that's also fine, I think. There were also other paths I could take this game. But I think this is perfectly fine. Wonder if it's better to take the damage on the hero or the grave digger here. Like, is this actually better? You could kill this and snowball this now. Maybe it's better to do it the other way around, like this. But then he's just killing this and snowballing, right? Oof, oof. Kazuary. Then he can't snowball. But he could just, like, hit it with a lot of other ways. I think it ends up being essentially the same thing, actually, now that I look at it a bit. I think you can kill both of these with how many keys he's sitting on. But then I kill the Grave Digger. Or the Unicorn, maybe. Depending on what he's doing with this. Yeah, he's just going to change thing into Snowball this. Or Jar Cannon this. That would also be fine. I would probably say like Kivo into Jar Cannon and. Oh, he doesn't. Does he want a smaller unit or a larger unit here? Why is he leaving this at 300 and putting a jar cannon there? Oh, they just wanted a smaller unit. Are they saving for being able to go for like boss or something? <laughs> I hope not. Wouldn't like to see a boss here. No, they're just being aggressive with a, a wall. Can they kill this next turn? If they have a one, six, twelve, mm, maybe they can. I'm just putting a gemstone here actually. 
and then a control show somewhere. Where does the control show go though? Just like here, maybe up here. Here is fine, I think. Can't be hit. Probably going to try and kill the stabby here, and I think he can kill the stabby. But I think if he kills the stabby, I can also kill a lot in return. It's kind of fine. Or they're not going for the stabby. I thought that was the plan with the A wall here. But apparently not. Not even sure they have enough damage. I think they should have. I feel like there's enough damage here to kill the stabby, but I didn't actually do the exact math. I think there was enough damage, just barely, by like, I don't know, a little bit, not a lot, for sure. I think I want to destroy this block also now, it's starting to be less good for me and more good for them. Finally, we are going to bring Primate again, I think. What else am I bringing? These two? I don't like that. I think it's just a primate. I think it should be up here also. The primate. If I can find it. This seems okay. Wondering what they're saving for here. Seven key could be something very, very large. Would have a hard time dealing with a blastomatic or something like that here. Oopsie baby would also be kind of rough. Then I would have to kill off all of his smaller units first. Or at least try to do that. Snipey. Huh? That can't be right. Uh, okay, I don't quite understand. Also a bit bad for me, I haven't destroyed this block yet. But why is there a here? What? <laughs> That's very weird to me. Goes up here, can I kill it? 5, 10, 15, 16... Six more. I can't, right? Maybe I have to place it in a different way. This. Put this somewhere else. Can this kill it? No, it can't. This is a bit weird. I think I have to do something weird like this. It's not a very good position to be in. I have to do that if I want to be able to kill the foul if he goes in here. Could also block me out with the grave digger at some point. Which would also be bad. But he can't do that and also disease me here. It's kind of alright, I guess. If this block wasn't here, it would be much easier to play the game right now. But I think it was fine to use it for creating a block instead, in this case. I feel like that's worse for him, if that block isn't there. But it might just be me, who's crazy. Hmm. 
hmm. what to do here. I don't really want to sacrifice any of my units. It's the weird thing. Um, I think I'm doing this. Even though it's really weird to do. It gives them an opportunity to go, to go in here, but then I can maybe bounce back, I think. I kind of have to poke the foul. I think he wants to see something, but I also think if he goes in with all of these, I can kill a lot of his smaller stuff, and that's kind of my goal at this point. And then try to kite the foul or something. The Stabby will obviously die here to the A wall. Or not, if he doesn't go in or uses the foul or something instead. But if the A wall kills the Stabby, the A wall just disappears. So that's also not that bad for me. If I just got a free hit here, that's very good for me. I think that's playing too defensive for them, to be honest. Can I just go in here then? Is there any way to do this? I don't think there's a good way of doing it still. kill the grave digger if I really wanted to but I don't think there's any point in that either I think I'm just moving back actually maybe destroy this back to this position for a second this is a bit weird We're just moving back into the same position, see what they will do here. I could destroy this block and disease this, but then I, this is kind of dead. So we're just making sure that they can't disease and then walk away here. Hmm, they don't want to do anything, it seems. Seems like I have to be the one that goes in in that case. Guess we're doing this then. Just set up a lot of power here. Can't go up here with this, right? No, we can't. Yeah, this is just the best I can do right now. Maybe the jar cannon should be somewhere else. I should probably have placed the jar cannon like on where the primate is then i could kill both his jar and his murder wing in one turn possibly at least why is he moving his jar cannon there that didn't make any sense I think the primate would go in a bad position if I put it down here, right? Yes, it would. Don't want that. And we're doing this instead, I guess. Or are we? What if I want to kill both the able and the... I guess we're just fighting straight up. Didn't really want to do that, though. Better to put this down here and hit the jar. 
when the jar comes into range. We want to kill as much as possible here. And we're also keeping the Grave Digger from being able to hit anything more than once. I will actually hit... No, I'll hit the Foul, I think, because I really need to kill it. The problem is it's probably going to heal to max here. But so is the Grave Digger, even if I hit it, so it doesn't matter much. Probably just straight up killing this. Yeah, that would be my guess at least. But then the Foul dies if he does this and stays here. Right? It just straight up dies. Pretty sure it does. Then he kills the Stabby. I kill both of these. And then the game ends, I'm pretty sure. I think if they want to try to win, they have to, like, deceive and try to run away and play with blocks or something. That's going to be doomed, I think. I think they just lost here. No matter which path they decided to take. But this one was a bit more difficult because it was against someone who was around the same level. Yeah, they're very close in levels to me. On most of these units. It's like minus one on some of them. GG. They couldn't even kill the Stabby. Yeah. Well, surprisingly enough, I got 3 you know, again. Here. I can't make a cool 3. Just like that. That's better. Kind of hard to ride with this tool. I guess we continue. I'm still not get okay. <laughs> Hope I okay. This is over. I can actually just change this already. Three in one. I'm not beating Hope Loy. Even if I had all of my units, I wouldn't beat Hope Loy. <laughs> so, with only like a bit of the units, I'm certainly not doing it. I should also not. Put it over people's names, I guess. That is one way to <laughs> end this very quickly. What is that? A Sargassum, which is normally a squishy one-hit unit. 750 health. Look at the difference between these two. 500 health and like 150 damage. 120 damage is ish That's certainly still a lot, though. I guess I'm doing the same thing here. With the one key thing. Level 28. I think the max level is still 30. I'm about to reach it soon. I mean, they're not going to do that, right? No. I'm just not moving this. Oh, they are moving it, but they're moving it here. Oh, they didn't. They chose to go for... This will let me snowball it, though. Are they okay with that? I guess they don't care. I mean... <laughs> what am I going to do? Beat them when they have level 28? Mm, no, I don't think so. Look at this contour show. I think this is more tanky than my cowbell, isn't it? There it is. 942. This is 979. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. How big the difference is between those. Have to snowball here. Can't go for the hero thing. Then I guess we bring a K9000 behind it. Or just a razor mouth. I think just a razor mouth is probably fine. I mean, I'm not killing this anyway, am I? No, I'm not. So, whatever. <laughs> I 
You can see there, Heaval with a billion health here. Could just be a Heaval walking down here. That would end the game. Anything that spends all of their keys here is probably going to end the game. 846. <laughs> it's so wild seeing these levels, man. How much money do you think they spent? A lot. I can tell you that much. For sure. Guess I'm just straight up fighting here as hard as I can. Why am I? Save the snowball for a later turn, maybe? It's not like it's going to matter, but... Can at least do the correct play here, which is doing something like this. Pretty... I think he's threatening the snowball if it's up here. Because of the AoE. <laughs> I think this is probably the best spot to just put the snowball in, just to make sure it doesn't get the AoE hit. Can't reach up here now, but I don't care if he goes up here. It doesn't do anything. Now they take all of the points, if they want to. Or they don't, and it doesn't really matter. That's also still going to give me difficulties, even if they don't. I think I can just put this here. It's fine, right? Because they would AoE this if they AoE. By now. Could have also tried to bring something to threaten this, but I mean, it's not going to matter if I threaten that. It's a 3 key. It just looks like it's larger than a 3 key. Which is my attractor's health? 400 less? I honestly expected it to be more, but I guess it is a fairly low base health unit. It's mostly just all of its power is in this, obviously. Should I just move my gym sting here? I feel like it's going to die if I do that. Like, he's just going to hit it with this. Like, no. He's going to move this here. Pull it down here. Hit it with this. Snowball it, hit it. Yeah, it would just die. Not doing that then. Guess I'm using Erratic. In that case. Not that it matters. Yeah, that makes sense now. The smite. Oh my god, it has 3000 health. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not killing that thing. Like, ever. Have to just go all in here, right? I think I do. Fight them as fast as possible. I think all of my stuff is likely dead now. Also don't know if I needed to actually snowball that. 
I probably did. Yeah, I definitely did with how high level that was, right? Yeah, I, I definitely did need to snowball it. The AoE plus this is not enough. Here comes the cupcake. This is dead. What level was this? It has 1000 heal. <laughs> this right here. This specific cupcake is the strongest unit in the entire game. Out of all players, this is the most powerful unit in the game right now. Can't even kill anything here either. Of his. But I knew this would happen. It's not like it's a surprise. Like He is insanely overleveled. I don't think they really needed the cupcake here, if we're being honest. Either. Have to just hit this. Even though it ends the game. I mean, it ending the game is maybe actually a, a kind of good thing for me. Because uh, then I have to suffer less. Why didn't the Grave Digger come out there? Did they even use the pull on this? Okay, yeah, they did. Just wanted to make sure that they couldn't pull and power down. This is certainly over though. GG. I mean, again, even if I could use all of my units, this would not be winnable. Look at this cupcake here. What unit is that? It busts for 500 almost damage. That's kind of a lot, really, if you think about it. They're at least get letting me do a good hit with Erratic here, I guess. Or not. Almost a good or perfect hit with Erratic. This is actually a combo that you see a fair lot during the very early stages of the game. Where you walk up with Grave Digger, you place a block so they arrange line of sight unit here, can't hit anything. And then you walk up with the Erratic and hit here for a AoE splash. That's a pretty good thing to do early on. In this case, obviously, the game is already over, so it's not going to make any difference that I'm doing this. These are just dead this turn. Well, I guess that ends the challenge here, so the video will end too. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.